وبيا من طارق الزين احمد um, he has been working in the construction industry for the past six years recently he completed a master's in sustainable sustainability leadership in the built environment with a thesis on solar pv in sudan um استاذ طارق زين مرحبا بك ونامل انك تقدر تقدم المحتوى بتاعك مزبوط جميل السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته اهلا سامعني سامعينك هاي تفضل كويس انا بعمل شير ان شاء الله شكرا للاضافه ونتمنى يكون كونفرنس ناجح ان شاء الله شايفين الشاشة؟ يس اوكي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ايفون ثانك يو فور انفايتنج مي ام غونا سي ذس ان انجلش بس اتس جاست مور كومفورتبل فور مي ذس واي بس ماي توبيك از غونا بي اون روف توب سولار بورتبل تيكس بوتنشال ان خرطوم السودان سو ذس از ذا ريسيرش اي ديت فور ماي ثيسيس اون ماي ماسترز Let's start. So this is what briefly what I'm going to cover: the uh, introduction, uh, the literature review, the research, the method I used, uh, the findings, and then recommendations and uh, next next things that that can happen. So why did I choose this topic? Well, um, for me, the primary reason is is the increasing electricity demand uh, in Sudan. Is that uh, especially in Khartoum, and uh, I'm sure many of you have been there uh, regularly, and you would notice that there are power outages. Uh, this is particularly the case in the summertime. Uh, it hasn't improved over the years, so we have to find a solution. So this was my main motivation, and of course, uh, we all concerned about climate change. So we need to ensure that whatever solution we put forward, um, it it uh, meets our obligations to emit climate change and also meet the UN Sustainability Development Goals. Uh, this is just um, a rough estimation of the predicted electricity demand in Khartoum, the capital of Sudan. Um, so it's expected to increase by almost 30% uh, by 2030. Uh, so this power outage um, issues that we're having in the country, it will only get worse over over the years, less something something is done to increase the electricity capacity. Why did I choose to focus on solar? Well, solar is basically the future. Uh, by 2050, it's predicted to be the largest source uh, for of electricity. So we're going to see a lot more of it, <laughs> whether we like it or not. Um, and also, it's reducing in price uh, approximately 4% every year. So it's going to get cheaper uh, and easier for people to, to install. And of course, uh, the benefit of solar is that it's sustainable, at least during the operation. It doesn't produce any carbon. My research question that I put forward was, uh, what potential does residential rooftop solar PV have in meeting future electricity demand in the city of Khartoum, Sudan? And my main aim is to influence uh, policymakers and the local community um, to help them understand the potential of, of rooftop solar. So this is just a, a brief summary of the current power capacity in Sudan. Um, the majority of the electricity is from hydropower um, and also the rest uh, is from thermal fossil fuel power. Uh, of course, they have their challenges as well. So with hydro, there's a limit of, to how many hydro dams you can build. And I'm sure many of you are aware of the problems we're having with the Grand uh, Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. So we can't keep on building um, hydro power stations. Uh, and obviously, it also causes uh, environmental impacts, such as floodings, for example. And with thermal fossil fuel, it is very expensive to operate. The government has to spend millions to buy the fuels for it. 
as well as uh, it's uh, contributing to air pollution. Fortunately, Sudan is blessed um, with high solar radiation and it's actually the second best country in Africa with regards to the amount of, of uh, solar energy it can obtain. Um, as an example, the average solar irradiance uh, is between 5.8 to 7 kilowatts per hour. This is almost double that of Germany, whereas Germany has uh, more than 10 times the amount of solar panels compared to Sudan. Unfortunately, um, less than 1% of the total electricity uh, generated in Sudan is, is from solar, despite the, the high potential. And why did I choose uh, rooftop solar PV? Well, I focus on this because the benefits of rooftop solar PV is that um, it provides electricity to the household as well as contributes electricity back to the grid. So it, it, improve, it increases the overall uh, electricity capacity in the network. And of course, the majority of the electricity uh, in Khartoum in Sudan is consumed during the daytime, approximately 70%. Um, and this is where solar works best. It works during the daytime best. So there's a good match there. Uh, this is a brief uh, summary of Khartoum. So it's, a, it's the capital of Sudan uh, with a population of uh, around 5 million increasing. Uh, it's blessed also with a, a lot of sunlight hours. Uh, some people might complain and say that this is not a blessing, but uh, it's a blessing with regards to, to energy um, and solar in particular. So for my research, what I focused on is uh, firstly is to understand the challenges that um, using rooftop solar PV presents um, to the economy and, and to the city. So uh, I, had, I was fortunate to be able to meet with representatives from um, various areas in Sudan, including a representative from the Ministry of Energy, uh, an investment bank, uh, solar PV contractor based in Sudan, and also uh, a homeowner uh, who's also a, a research professor. Uh, and he's one of the first people I know in Sudan to actually own a solar PV system. So I managed to interview all these people and, and uh, found their opinions. I also estimated uh, using theoretical methods, the amount, the number of houses that are needed in order to meet uh, the number of houses that need to install solar PV in order to meet the electricity demand by 2030. So firstly, from the interviews, uh, these were the main uh, challenges that the stakeholders brought forward. The Ministry of Water and Electricity, um, they mentioned that the key challenge, they like the idea of, of rooftop solar PV, but their key challenge is that the government funds uh, they say is lacking at present. And also um, another challenge is the grid infrastructure at present. So the electricity grid might not be um, suitable for solar photovoltaics and it might need to be upgraded. So the first thing that they need to do is to do a grid network study in order to see whether the infrastructure needs up upgrading or whether it, it has capacity to uh, to allow rooftop solar PV. The investment bank actually gave me a good example of um, a rural area where they installed uh, rooftop PV in Sudan. It was only around, I think, 60 homes. But they were very comfortable with the idea. Uh, but they did mention that the challenge would be the overall cost of the system if they were to uh, provide loans, for example, to homeowners to install rooftop PV it would increase the cost of the system by up to 50%. Uh, the contractor was also positive with the idea and they had uh, a lot of technicians working for them. And fortunately, the solar contractors in, in Khartoum, they, they are quite many actually, but the majority work in agricultural areas and they had no, no uh, experience with rooftop PV. But they, they said the main challenge would be 
the cost and the fact that there aren't any subsidies for homeowners to install rooftop TV, uh, especially things such as feed-in tariffs, which is used in many countries and it helps to reduce the cost of, of rooftop TV. And the homeowner, obviously he has the experience of, of having a, a rooftop TV system in his house. Um, he said the, the largest challenge to this is the current electricity prices in Sudan. So Sudan has one of the lowest electricity prices, um, not just in the world, but even in sub-Saharan Africa. It's very, very cheap. And this would discourage some people from investing in, in solar electricity. But he said the, be the main benefit to rooftop PV would be that it will help to prevent power outages. Uh, so from my theoretical calculations, so I've uh, basically estimated the average rooftop area uh, and used an equation uh, to understand basically how many households would be required to meet the demand of uh, three terawatts by 2030. So if everyone, if, uh, uh, if you look at the 4.5 kilowatts, uh, that's the size of the roof of the solar PV system. Uh, if you have around 310,000 homes install the system, uh, by 2030, then that would be sufficient for the electricity demand, for example. Uh, the 4.5 kilowatts, it might cost up to 3,000 US dollars. So approximately, it might be up to a, a billion US dollars to, to, have, to, have, all, to have 310,000 houses installed with this system. But obviously, if you increase the system size, then you would need less houses. Um, I also looked at the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats of rooftop PV, uh, known as a SWOT analysis, uh, from the literature review, from the interviewers, from the theoretical calculations I did. Um, and the strength that Khartoum has for this, for this technology is the high solar radiation and long sunshine hours. This will greatly help um, with the amount of energy that can be uh, generated from rooftop PV. And also, from my estimates, uh, the number of the rooftop area is, is basically sufficient for the rooftop PV. Uh, however, the weaknesses were the low grid electricity prices. This would discourage a lot of people from investing uh, and they would just rely on the current electricity. And of course, the government budget um, is, is at present, uh, they can't fund uh, thousands of houses to have rooftop PV. So that's another area that, that needs to be looked at. With regards to opportunities, the government, could, for example, can look at energy policies and subsidies. So people who are interested in, in uh, having this system installed, then they can get grants or uh, investments from the government to help them uh, cover the cost. And also there's an opportunity of increasing the grid capacity. So the more rooftop uh, solar PV you have, the higher the electricity capacity you have in the country and the less likely um, that you have, for example, power cuts. And there's a benefit to the economy as well through job creation. But the threats to uh, rooftop PV uh, in Khartoum is the network infrastructure, as this may require significant upgrades um, if you want to have rooftop PV on a large scale. So first, this needs to be looked at. And of course, the political instability is another threat. This has been, this has been mentioned by uh, various presenters in this conference, but it's very, very important that uh, we try and support the government um, and we try what we can do to, to ensure that there's stability in the country. Um, so when we look at Khartoum in general, there's a low income households and medium high income households. Uh, from my findings, the rooftop PV would probably suit the high medium income households better because obviously of the high cost. Um, with regards to the low-income households, 
there might be some problems with uh, on the roof integrity. So if you have rooftop solar panels on such roofs, it might not be strong enough to hold it. And of course, uh, it might not be affordable for such, house, such households. So the best strategy, uh, in my opinion, is to have the solar farms uh, installed by and funded by the government to provide electricity to the low income households. And for the high income households, uh, these can be incentivized and encouraged to install rooftop PV. So what's the next steps and recommendations? Um, the next step, if we were really serious about uh, rooftop PV in Khartoum is to perform a grid network study. Um, this is to see whether the grid infrastructure has the capacity to support rooftop PV on a large scale. So that's very, very important. And we can also, the government can also encourage individual homeowners to install rooftop PV through incentives to make it cheaper for, for them, such as uh, zero tax on solar panels, which will reduce the price of the solar panels, for example. Uh, and also, the government can look at increasing the, the grid electricity tariffs. Um, this can be increased for the higher income households, but for the lower income households, the price can be kept the same. This will help to raise funds for the government to allow them to uh, invest in, in solar PV. And also the government can pilot rooftop PV in certain areas and monitor to see how it performs. Thank you for listening. Shukran Jazeelan. And uh, if anyone's interested in uh, furthering this research, then I'm more than happy to be involved with them. Thank you. Shukran Jazeelan, Tariq. Um... بنحلم بفضاء أوسع بنحلم بزمن أجمل بلاد ملا بلاد ملا Love you.